Ellen McConkie said, we need to be on the pathway uh, that's going to lead us back to our Father in Heaven. And if you're on that pathway, your heart is right before the Lord. You're working toward being temple recommend worthy, as I like to call it that way. That's what he kind of referred to as a straight and narrow pathway. But if you're working in that pathway and death overtakes you, for all intents and purposes, he said this on January 10th, 1982 at the University of Utah, all right, man's probationary test, okay, in mortality. That's the title of the talk. If you're on that pathway and death overtakes you, for all intents and purposes, your calling and election is made sure by your death. Wow, that means I don't have to be called in by the prophet. That means I don't have to have my, the room get light and have Christ come down and appear to me directly and seal me up. That happens. That, both of those things happen. It means I can endure to the end of my mortal life doing the best that I can, repenting from now and now and of those things, but trying, striving with real intent, and my death will seal upon me my calling and election. Now that's a plan I can live with because there's hope in that. There, and you and I can have what we're, to, we're supposed to have. And that is 1 Corinthians 15, 19 through 21. But if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Well, there's a lot of miserable Latter-day Saints who set a standard of perfection for themselves greater than what the Lord has set. 